Hi, I'm Christian and welcome to the third episode of the second season of Controlix Developer. During the last episode, Kai showed us how easy it is to set up a virtual Controlix core and to program it with the integrated PLC with the help of the provided templates. Today, Michael is joining me and he will demonstrate us that it's just as easy to continue with low-code programming. Isn't it, Michael? That's correct. Very good. But first of all, please introduce yourself. Tell us what is your expertise and what are you going to show us today? So, my name is Michael and I'm an application engineer at Bosch Rectros for the Controlix Automation. And today I'm going to show you how to program Python scripts with a minimum effort and without using any external tools on your PC. Sounds very interesting. How does it work? Simply by using an IDE app as a fully integrated development environment on the Controlix core. And it's a an textual and graphical programming environment based on Taya and Google Blockly. This impressed me already during the first season, that you can actually program machines with Google Blockly. Yes, Blockly is mainly designed for machine operators to make easy changes in their process without knowledge of any programming language. Or to come back to your question, you can use the IDE app as a fully integrated development environment to create Python scripts for the Controlix core without installing any tool on your PC. And easily make changes. Exactly. Should I show you how to do this easily? Sure. I have the IDE app here running on my Controlix core and I can access it with the browser of my choice. And it's all web-based, just like setting up the Controlix core. Correct. Here I can now log into the control with my username and my password. And under settings, I can see a list of all the apps that are installed. Installing the apps is very easy as you have seen in the last episode. And the function you can find directly via the menu IDE. And here you can see now the two sub-items. That's right. As I said, our IDE app is a full integrated development tool consisting of the first part, the textual editor, based on Taya from Eclipse. The popular open source IDE framework. Correct. And here the developer can start a new file and start programming their Python scripts from scratch. For example, for our Cartesian handling application, which we are setting up during the second season. Right. Or you simply prepared it like I did. And for all of you who want to know how we did that, I recommend our how-to video. As you know from the previous episodes, we will always have a deep dive into the application there. You can find the corresponding link to the video in the description below. Great. The Controlix motion and the Controlix data layer that means the connection to the central data storage and the kinematics can here be used as scopes. Here I imported them with a simple function to get out of completion while programming. And here I attach all my motion objects so that no other instance can use them. A simple source code for a Cartesian handling application. Yes, comfortable and easy programmed with the tire IDE on the Controlix core in my browser. Here, for example, you can see where I open the gripper with the direct access to the data layer. There, all the data is stored centrally. That is really convenient. Yeah, and that's just the beginning. Our second building block is the visual coding. And as a reminder, this is all running on the Controlix core without any tool installed on my PC. And here you have now the possibility to create a new project. Did you prepare something here as well? I didn't need to, I just show you what to do. Here you already see the first block to start with your application. What we should do now at the beginning is setting up your project to simplify your programming effort at the end significantly. So here we can add only the access and kinematics really needed to our programming environment. So everything is focused on them and you don't have to deal with all of the motion objects in the manufacturing environment. Exactly. And if one of the axes that we have configured is not present on the control, it will be added automatically. 
And you can even insert variables right there. Correct. Finally, the whole project can be initialized and can be automatically applied with the run button to the system. And with that, you have actually configured the complete control. Yes, and now I have everything that I need to start programming right away. Perfect. So the user interface for your source code is defined now. That's a good example. So whoever will work with this IDE will then operate in a safe environment where only the desired objects can be used. And at the same time, you still have the capabilities to make more complex changes. Yeah, let me show you. As you can see here, I have several blocks to various areas like motion, IOs and control. And this works uh, simply via drag and drop. That's what Google Blockly is all about. Right. I can use here this block and simply drag and drop it into my program for my predefined kinematics. And this code then works sequentially. Means line by line. And here I can easily create my complete click and place movement. But we already programmed that completely once. And at this point, I would like to refer again to our how-to video, which is linked below. By the way, if you want to see the code in Python, you can simply click here in the menu. And of course, you can also do changes to the source code here. So as a developer, you have the opportunity to create a complex program that can easily be modified by the operator in Blockly. Cool. And this can be done without any programming skills. If you want to test your program, you merge everything with the compile button. Correct, Christian. In fact, I can run it now, debug it, download it with my browser or to my control. It is as simple as that. Correct. And when I press on play? You can watch how your program is running. That's right. The complete programming and a lot of additional information can be found in our how-to video. But I hope in a short time we could show you how easy it is to program with our IDE app on the ControlX core in Python or even Blockly. Great. Thanks for taking us on the tour through the app, Michael. It was really fun. Thanks for inviting me today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Check out the how-to videos and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of the new episodes. We will see us again in episode number four where we are going to explain how to get our handling application extremely safe with controlling safety. Until then, catch you on the next one to be two steps ahead.